what is up everyone today I'm going to be showing you how to make your hard drive visible if you installed either an external or internal hard drive and you can't see it on your computer so this problem may seem bad at first like one of your hard drives is dead but that's not the case it's actually really simple to fix so I'm going to show you with my external hard drive what is happening here so when I plug in my external hard drive you'll be able to hear the noise of the USB drive being plugged in right there and even though I just plugged it in it's not going to show up on my computer if you're having this problem it's really simple to fix all you're going to do is go to your control panel which you can do by hitting your start button and clicking control panel click on system and security if your screen doesn't look like this click on this little view by button here and click category. So once you click on system and security, you're going to scroll down and click on administrative tools. And then it's going to open up a brand new window and you'll find computer management in there and you want to double click on that. So once this is open, you'll see under the storage tab, um, the disk management icon, you click on that and that is going to bring up all of your disks that are plugged into your computer. So as you can see, I have my operating system disk, which is a 95, a 96 gigabyte solid state drive. I have my data drive, which is a one terabyte hard drive. And then I have this two gigabyte, or I'm sorry, two terabyte drive that is unnamed. Now this is what's happening. When you plug in your external hard drive or an internal hard drive, your operating system isn't giving it a letter path. So all you have to do, and make sure you're on the, um, the drive that you want to add a letter path to, because if you do this for a different one, it might mess something up. So I'm going to right click on this empty space, click change drive letter and paths, and click add. So now it's going to ask me what, what letter I want the drive to be. You can choose any that aren't being used right now. So if I click on F and hit OK, now it just allocated the F drive to my external hard drive. And when I go back to my computer, now it shows up on there. So it's as simple as that. Um, now it's fixed and you should be able to open up your drive and view everything that's on it. And I hope this video helped you. And if it did, be sure to comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks.